Can you replace cable internet with wireless home internet from either T-Mobile or Verizon? The answer is overwhelmingly yes, you can. I'm replacing Cox cable internet with Verizon wireless home internet for three reasons. That is cost, internet speeds, and customer support, all of which blow Cox out of the water almost. In this video, I'm gonna show you what Verizon 5G home internet looks like and why it might just be for you. I'm Sherry, your telecom expert with Whistleout. Let's go. We all know that when it comes to cable internet, costs are not cheap. And in fact, every year they rise and you never know what it's going to be. 10%, 20%, 30%. Well, when we started with Cox, our internet was $65 a month. Two years later, it's now $85 a month. And that's just unacceptable for us, especially for the speeds we were getting, which just aren't great. We stuck with Cox because, well, it was our only option because there's not lots of varieties of internet these days. But with wireless home internet coming into the picture, you now have a lot of options if it's in your area. We happen to qualify for Verizon Home Internet, which is saving us a lot of money. With Verizon Home Internet Plus, we are paying just $25 a month for nearly the exact same speeds that Cox offers. So let's dive into the price a little bit more. Normally, Verizon Home Internet costs $35 a month for the plan that we are on, which is the Plus plan. But because we are legacy customers of Verizon, that cost drops down to $25 saving us stupid amounts of money each month. So we get a legacy discount and yes, that is locked in. Does everybody get this legacy discount with Verizon? No, you have to be a customer with Verizon for a set amount of time for this discount to kick in. But still, even if you're paying for Verizon wireless home internet without being a Verizon customer, it's still way cheaper coming in at $60 than paying $85 or more a month for any given cable internet company. And even though it's slightly more expensive. If you're not a customer, it's still worth switching in my humble opinion. Just find a friend who's on Verizon and put it under their name. And the last perk that comes with Verizon Wireless Home Internet is that you get a money back guarantee. You can test this out for free for 30 days. And if you don't like it, well, just send it back. It's as easy as that. Now let's talk internet speeds because I know using wireless internet might feel a little sketchy, a little scary because it's not connected to anything. It's wireless for a reason where maybe with cable, you might feel a little bit more comfortable connecting that into some cable underground that's connected to wherever giving you speeds. But let me just say my speeds with Verizon wireless internet are very comparable to Cox. So with Cox, we get around 500 download speeds Mbps and about 10 up if we're lucky. It's awful because generally our speeds, although we pay for 500, sit around 300 Mbps, not great. And upload speeds are really important to me and cable just doesn't cut it. I'm often uploading gigabytes worth of footage online and that can take four to five hours for 15 gigabytes. But with Verizon wireless home internet, my upload time is cut in half for the same amount of gigabytes being uploaded. We're averaging around two to 300 download speeds with Verizon Wireless 5G+, Plus, which has been perfect for us. And our upload speeds vary from 10 to 50, which is why we are digging it, especially me as a content creator. Another thing to know is that we have four people in our house, one of which is an avid gamer and streamer and all of the things, and he has not seen any problems with his gaming. We also have two working from home professionals and our internet speeds are holding steady. It has been great. It's really a no brainer when the cost is cut by 75% switching from cable to wireless internet from Verizon. And to top it all off, as we are talking about speeds, Verizon Wireless 5G Plus home internet can reach up to theoretically gigabit speeds. So we'll be paying $25 a month for fiber optic speeds, which I cannot wait for that to happen. Our Verizon rep tells us they're building a new towers in our area as we speak, and we should potentially see those speeds by the end of the year. And on that note, let's talk customer support because that is one huge reason why Verizon is in our sights. We had a door-to-door -door salesman come knock on our door. Normally we shoo them away, but we welcome this Verizon rep with open arms and they have been incredibly helpful from giving us direct instructions on how to set up, from working through 
through technical difficulties, although, though there haven't been many, Verizon has still been much more helpful than any customer support agents at Cox Cable have ever been. And if you've dealt with customer support with cable internet providers before, you know how big of a pain it is to get anything accomplished with Verizon Wireless Home Internet. That's just not the case. It's been incredibly healing, to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the last note I'm gonna throw in there, the ease of setup. With cable internet, obviously you are dealing with a lot of cables. You're dealing with, are connections working? Is this gateway the right gateway? With Verizon home internet, you get one thing and one thing only, a box with a power connector. All you do is plug it in and you are good to go. It is so simple. So for all of these reasons, it is a no brainer to switch from cable internet to wireless home internet, specifically with Verizon. What are your thoughts on wireless home internet? Do you trust it yet? Are you sold yet? What are your questions? Let me know. I'm Sherry Riggs, your telecom expert with Whistle Out.